Hello, my name is Blake Tabasse, and we're doing interviews with uh, some of the former inductees from the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. Today we have with us uh, Norm Hempstead. Uh, Norm was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2005, and I had the pleasure of playing with uh, Norm for a few years in Burden during the early part of my career. Norm, can you tell us uh, when you were born, or where and when you were born in the lake? Three miles south of Prince Albert on a rural area up there, and uh, played some Oh, minor ball up there. Uh, actually, I was born into a large family. I had five older brothers, so my first ball experience was probably playing with my older brothers on the farm, and and probably uh, did that on a daily basis. And it was uh, probably where you learned to try and hit the ball a little bit. And uh, from there, I went to Saskatoon and played some junior baseball, and uh, came to Manitoba in 1964 to play with the Burton Oilers. Played with Nipa, who weren't in the MSPL at that time. We were in the Yellowhead League. And they had a real good team, and so we convinced them that they should join the MSPL, and they did the following year, and have been a part of the MSPL ever since, and uh, have always been a very competitive team to to uh, compete in the MSPL since that time. And then after that, I moved to Brandon and played a couple of more years with the, the Brandon Cloverleafs before I finally retired. But I was selected for the MSPL All Star at three different positions as catcher, as a shortstop, and as an outfielder. So I uh, think it's a little unique, and I don't think it was because of my uh, my fielding abilities either. <laughs> uh, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2005 as a player builder and I think in, in most cases we, we tend to uh, put the emphasis on the, the playing part but uh, as a builder that uh, was a very important part of your uh, contribution to baseball. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, as a player, of course, everybody's got their thrills in uh, playing ball, and it's always been a tremendous experience in the affiliation with people from across the country. But after uh, retiring from the MSBL, I was involved with the Brandon Minor Baseball Association and coaching little kids, and it, it really, it really was uh, a great eye opener and great experience to work with the young kids. Uh, when we were, uh, I was coaching some uh, major teams, and when they were done their that age group, there was no place else for them to play, so uh, along with uh, Barry Woke, we uh, organized the Brandon Intermediate Baseball League to give people an opportunity to play some baseball, continue to play baseball after we were done the midget age group. And also for people that uh, didn't have an opportunity to necessarily play the Brandon Cove Leagues, who were the only senior team at that time. So uh, the league was formed with uh, two midget teams and uh, two senior teams, and that has grown since then and has been a very active, very strong uh, league for and provide lots of baseball for people uh, for the last 20 years in the Brandon area. And then uh, a couple of years later uh, there was some people in came and indicated they wanted to form another new baseball park and Simplot of Canada uh, donated some land to, to or were prepared to donate some land uh, east of Brandon here for the uh, construction of a site and uh, I was approached to chair organizing committee to to help uh, get this done. Uh, it turned out to be a $1.25 million complex. Uh, we had tremendous support from the citizens and business people in the city of Brandon and, and district to get this done. And uh, that facility is, uh, consists of four fields and gives the uh, community an opportunity now to host uh, provincial and national uh, championships. And it's really a, a very active uh, site. So it's really nice proud uh, moment to get to say associated with the development of that uh, complex at uh, the Simplot Millennium Park. Uh, what do you consider your baseball highlights, either as a player or as, a, as an organizer? Uh, everybody talks about Satchel Page and his touring group. Well, they came by Saskatoon and uh, I was selected to play against him and uh, uh, I was a nervous 18 year old at the time and lo and behold my first time in bat against Satchel Page I happened to hit one off the right field wall for a double so he wasn't very happy but I was thrilled. <laughs>